Boo. <laughs> Was I spooky? Oh man, I wore my spooky skull shirt and you can't even see it. Disappointing. Hello, hello, my name is Elise, and today I'm greeted with a very special guest, which would be the cicadas and cars right outside my window. Just kidding, I do not appreciate them. But anyways, it is officially September, which means it is Honorary Spooky Month, so of course I had to come at y'all with a Halloween-themed readathon. So for this readathon, I am joined by Lily from Lily Reads and Other Things. I will have all of her information down below, including a booktube channel. You should all subscribe to her because Lily is wonderful, and this is actually the second time that I've hosted a readathon with her. We actually are making this Halloween themed readathon an extension of the first readathon we hosted together because we just had so much fun with it and now we are making it kind of a year round thing maybe if that's the plan I think. I don't know we'll see how this readathon goes. So this readathon is as I just said an extension of the readathon Sapphic Summer which we did this summer and it was basically a super casual super chill readathon that was basically what the title says it took place over the summer and we had nine prompts for you all but basically the only real requirement within those prompts was that the books had to be sapphic so we are doing part two and it is going to be halloween themed this time around it is called sapphic no i said that wrong oh my gosh already off the bat saying it wrong <laughs> off the bat as if that's not a halloween word that <laughs> okay sorry it is called Spooky Sapphic Readathon. Kind of cute, kind of spooky, you love it. But yeah, it's gonna take place October 1st through October 31st. So the entire month of October, the entire spooky month and we are gonna have nine prompts for you all you can follow the twitter if you are interested it's still under the name sapphic summer oops hello this is elise from the future so when i filmed this video lily and i had not changed the twitter handle so it was sapphic summer but we did go ahead and change it so if you'd like to follow us on twitter the new handle is spooky sapphics one so that will be reflected in the description down below if you are interested on the twitter we will have updates and including um, the prompts, which you can also find down below, uh, just little check-ins, you know, the usual readathon stuff. So I am going to go over the prompts right now, but really quickly, let me just show you all the Canva thing I made. This is our bingo board, whatever side I put it on, I'm never sure what side it is. I feel like it's this side. But yeah, I have an editable, 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 yeah, that sounds right editable canva link down below so if you want to make your uh prompt board look all nice and neat you can click that down below and it will open up in canva for you and you can directly edit it there so that way you can put covers directly into the squares and it'll look nice and neat just thought that was super fun but yeah that's a, that will be linked down below you can also find it on our twitter so that's pretty much it for the basics of the readathon. So I'm going to briefly go over the nine prompts we have, but right away, let me just quickly say, this is supposed to be a low stress, low key readathon. So do what you will with the prompts. If you only wanna complete some of them, go ahead. You can choose to complete all of them or just a certain amount of row or whatever. If your book fits multiple prompts, feel free to use that for multiple prompts. You know, just, just time management okay folks i know a lot of you are in school right now so the nine prompts we have are all kind of spooky themed but again the other requirement besides fulfilling the prompt is that the books you choose have to be sapphic um again that is up to interpretation uh but it is the sapphic summer nope that is the other readathon the spooky sapphic readathon so for the first prompt we have title has a spooky buzzword and that can include words like Spooky, haunted, pumpkin, kill, murder, anything kind of spooky. The book doesn't have to be necessarily a spooky book, but we are just looking at the title for this prompt. Then next we have read a book after dark. So this just means read a book at nighttime or after the lights go out or something like that. In the dark, spooky time. Third, we have a book with witches, which is read a book that has witches in it. <laughs> and then next we have cover matches your favorite cozy sweater because it's fall and it's cozy sweater time. So wear your favorite cozy sweater and find a book that matches that. I would appreciate if you sent pictures of that because yeah, it's cute. 
Then next we have a book set in the spooky season. Again, very up to interpretation, however you, you wanna make that fit a book. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a book about Halloween, just, you know, something kind of fall related or maybe just kind of scary. All these prompts are pretty flexible. Make them fit your already existing TBR. Next we have read a book that scares you. This does not have to mean a book that like literally is horrifying to you, like horror. Um, it could just be like it scares you because it's intimidating, because it's long, or it seems really serious, or it's just been on your TBR forever. Again, for the amount of time, up to interpretation. Next we have a book with an eerie cover. So again, looking at the cover, we love cover themed prompts here, but eerie. Also, I love that little cute beep outside my window. Then we have contained supernatural elements, pretty self-explanatory, a book with supernatural elements. And then lastly, we have a, a book with a black or orange cover, or I guess bonus points if you get a book that has both black and orange in it. But again, very, very flexible. It doesn't have to be a scary horror book. It just has to fit that prompt in some way and be sapphic. So yeah, those are the nine prompts we have. I hope you have fun. Once again, October 1st to 31st, the entire month of October. And then you can follow our Twitter, Sapphic Summer. Again, oops, the new Twitter handle is actually Spooky Sapphic One, not Sapphic Summer. And then also don't forget to check out Lily from Lily Reads and Other Things. Every single thing that I just mentioned in this video will be down below. So don't forget to check all that out. I hope you all will be joining us. I'm looking forward to the Halloween month and I hope you all are too. Bye bye. <laughs>